Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Sumitra Ganesh from JP Morgan AI Research. Uh, and today I will be presenting our work on agent-based modeling using multi-agent reinforcement learning. So in this work, we are primarily interested in modeling complex economic systems. And these systems can be quite naturally modeled as multiple agents interacting with each other. There are three key characteristics of these systems that are important from a modeling standpoint. Firstly, we assume that every agent is rational and tries to maximize its utility or reward given the information and actions available to it. Secondly, agents are constrained in their observations and actions. For instance, they only have partial observations of the system. The third key aspect, sorry, the third key aspect uh, is that agents are heterogeneous and can have different reward functions and constraints. A simple example of this is a market like you see here, where on one hand you have merchants who sell widgets at some price that they set and they have to manage the inventory of these widgets. And on the other hand, you have customers who generate demand, compare prices from different merchants and decide who to buy from. Now all merchants are rational. They want to maximize their revenue while minimizing risk, but they are not identical. Firstly, they might have different levels of risk aversion. That is, they might make different trade-offs between revenue versus risk in their reward function. Secondly, they might have different constraints. Some merchants might be more connected to customers than others. Capturing this heterogeneity is very important in building a realistic model of this market. Now, agent-based models can be powerful engines for counterfactual analysis. You can pose what if scenarios, like what if there is a global pandemic and a severe supply side shock to this market, what would happen? If you have an agent-based model of this little market, you could use it to analyze possible outcomes. And this is why we are so invested in this problem, because we believe agent-based models can be a very useful tool for counterfactual analysis, scenario planning, and risk management in finance. But in practice, there are two hard questions you have to solve to be able to do this. Firstly, how do you learn rational behaviors across heterogeneous agents in a scalable manner? And secondly, how do you set the agent composition, the reward functions and constraints of the agents based on some real data? And these are the two questions that we tackle in our recent NeurIPS paper. We show that we can learn realistic or rational behaviors for different agents for a given agent composition by using a shared policy that's conditioned on the agent parameters. In the paper, we also analyze the game theoretic implications of this approach. We also propose a new algorithm for calibrating the agent-based model, where we estimate the agent composition to match certain specified calibration targets while simultaneously learning the agent behaviors. So I will touch briefly on the key ideas in both of these contributions, uh, but first let's formalize the setup. The agent-based model can be formally described as a general sum partially observable Markov game, where each agent observes its own state actions and rewards. The combined state of the system evolves as a function of the current state of all agents and their actions. What is really key is how we characterize the agent heterogeneity and the space of agent compositions. So this is how we do it. Each agent is associated with a type which is a vector of real numbers that parametrizes its reward function and constraints. So in the market example, for instance, the merchant agent parameters would be risk aversion and connectivity. We also have a small number of what we call supertypes. Each supertype is a distribution over the type space. And each agent is assigned a supertype and its type vector is then sampled from this distribution in each episode or simulation. So the set of supertypes essentially specifies the agent composition for the model. Okay, so now let's assume we have a fixed set of supertypes or agent composition. How do we learn rational behaviors for the different agents? Our approach is to use a shared policy conditioned on the agent type. So each agent can plug in its state and type vector lambda and into this policy pi and sample an action. 
The policy is then trained using the individual experiences of all the agents. Now, this kind of parameter sharing or centralized training approach is pretty common in recent multi-agent oral literature, particularly in fully cooperative games. The main difference here is that we do not allow full observability during training and we treat the experiences as separate. Now, from an agent-based model perspective, this means that no agent possesses some kind of secret sauce. So if you take two agents and you swap their parameters lambda, you would also swap their behaviors. In the paper, we also analyze what it means uh, to do this from a game theoretic perspective. What does it mean to have different agents use this kind of shared policy approach? It turns out that you can construct a two-player game based on the payoffs in the agent-based model as follows. The first player in this abstract two-player game gets the expected reward of one agent playing pi one while all the other agents play pi two and vice versa. So the gradient update for the shared policy can then be seen as self-play related to this two-player game where you roughly improve the, uh, the policy for one player while holding all the others fixed. So now we have a scalable way to learn rational behaviors for heterogeneous agents. How do we actually set the agent composition? Let's say we are given some calibration targets F star based on real data and a loss function. And we would like to find the agent composition or the set of supertypes such that this calibration loss is minimized. So we are essentially going to tweak these supertype distributions to minimize the calibration loss. But this can still be quite expensive because this is a bi-level optimization problem where for every choice of supertypes, we need to, in principle, train the agent's shared policy until equilibrium is reached and then record the calibration loss. What we propose in our paper is a new algorithm where you have an oral-based calibrator agent which picks the increment in supertype space as its action. And it gets a reward that's the inverse of the calibration loss. The calibrator policy and the shared policy are both updated, but the calibrator policy is updated less frequently than the shared policy. What this means is that we are able to carry forward the shared policy from previous iterations and adapt it to the new supertype profile set by the calibrator agent. Now in our experiments, we compared this to a Bayesian optimization baseline, and we found that our algorithm, which is Caltrack in blue here, uh, versus Bayesian optimization in orange, uh, is able to vary the supertype profile smoothly. And this in turn results in stable shared policy learning. Because the mm -hmm. shared policy, because, thank you. Because the shared policy is sufficiently uh, able to adapt and keep up with the uh, supertypes being chosen by the calibrator agent. And so in these plots, you can see the calibrator agent reward on the top row and the uh, uh, shared policy reward on the bottom row. And these are two different experiments. And especially in the second experiment, you can see that the Bayesian optimization takes a large step in supertype space, and that completely throws off the shared policy learning. So with these contributions, we have taken a step towards making the building of realistic agent-based models more efficient and scalable for practical use. Uh, there is a lot, lot more to do. Uh, but this is uh, only one of, I don't know, 80 ongoing projects at JP Morgan AI Research. I wanna introduce our team a little bit because you know, I often get questions like, oh, JP Morgan has an AI research team. Uh, our projects are actually quite diverse and they're inspired by seven goals that we have identified for our team. So it ranges from eradicating financial crime to empowering our employees. These are bold, ambitious goals and they encapsulate the impact that we aspire to make. We are also a very diverse, broad tent AI team. We have researchers working on everything from knowledge representation and AI planning to fairness and privacy issues in AI. Uh, we are hiring uh, and we also have a faculty research award program. I noticed there are a lot of uh, new faculty uh, members here. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested, please uh, check us out at jpmorgan.com slash AI. Thank you.